welcome to another book review and I am going to be reviewing The Irish Dawn's Black Beauty by Rose Marie. So, I'm obsessed, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, I had heard about this book on Book Talk and I was very hesitant because I'm like, mm, I don't know. I was, I'm not gonna lie. So, um, lovely, my lovely man who is all for my book endeavors, he said, all right, pick like five or six books that you want me to order and I'm gonna order them. So I did, I picked about five or six books and this was one of them cause I was like, at least it's not my money, you know? So I ordered the book and I had just finished reading The Hookup, The Hookup uh, Plan. I just finished reading The Hookup Plan and I said, all right, I want something a bit darker. And judging a book by its cover and judging the synopsis, I was like, let's check out The Irish Dawn's Black Beauty. Now, most people, when I tell them the title, they're like, really? But hear me out. Let's talk about what it's about. So this book follows uh, Kehlani and Connor. Um, they're both... <laughs> They're both seniors in high school. And um, Connor is the dawn of the Irish Mafia in this area. Kehlani is just a popular girl at school who's had a crush on Connor since they were freshmen in high school. But that being said, so one day, um, Kehlani and her best friend are sitting outside. And, of course, Kehlani's oogling Connor as he's studying. Um... I, in school, I, in, in school, Connor's persona is the nerdy, quiet kid. Um, and that's what he wants. He doesn't want to attract any attention. That's just who he is. So all Kehlani sees is that. She said he's the quiet, cute kid that she's had a crush on since they were freshmen in high school. Now that they're seniors, her best friend and her see him. And she's like, all right. Her best friend's like, all right, enough's enough. You, either you go ask him out or I'm going to ask him out. So, feeling the pressure, Kehlani goes and asks him out, and he thinks, you know, oh, this is a joke, you're messing with me, blah, 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 but he sees, all right, I'll just basically, I'll take her out on one day, let her down gently, and enough of this. Well, um, they have their first date, and basically, he gets to know her a bit better, and he falls, like, head over heels, love at first sight type of love with the who Kehlani is as a person. So, without spoiling it, that's all I'm going to tell you. Um, through them getting to know each other, love brews. They start becoming infatuated with each other. And so far, so good. Now, with that being said, is this book written well? No. Reading Rosemary's book was very hard to read. It was very cringe. I'm all for fantasy and, you know, fiction, but this was a bit far-fetched for me. Like, Kehlani's character was honestly written as a... Mm, I, I guess as an 18-year-old senior... I don't remember me being a senior like that. It was, it was written kind of immaturely. Like, very naive and immaturely. Um, Connor O'Shea's character was pure fiction. I liked his character to an extent. His character was just confusing. I could tell Rosemary was really trying to give him the mafia flair. But the mafia flair mixed with an 18-year-old young man was a hard mix for me to kind of go with and then i don't know it was just a some like the beginning of the the beginning to the middle of the book was a bit cringe reading it like mm. but i kept reading it because i was curious to see where their relationship was gonna go it does pique your curiosity and then by the end of the book, you're like, 
okay, it does end on a cliffhanger to the point where you're like, I want to know what's happening next. Like, as soon as I finished reading it, I hopped on Amazon and did a rush order for the second and third book. Now, yes, it's a trilogy. I found out it's a trilogy. Usually I don't order it like that, the second and third book, but I'm taking a gamble. So we'll find out if it was a waste or not. Um, there is a fourth book, but the fourth book, from what I can tell, is a novella. So I'm like, I don't even know if I'd need necessary to read it. I did like if 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 the third one ends on a, a way that I'm like curious, I'll probably order it. But I'm just going for the meat and potatoes of the story. In regards to spice, one out of five. I give it a four. Den of Viper still being that five where it's just too much. Too much. It was a four and it was it was leaking towards becoming too much. Especially for 18 year olds. A bit too much. Um with that being said, just romance love was it a cute story. Yeah, it was a, it was a cute story. It 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 was new. It was new for me. I loved the um the way that she mixed the Irish real like their native tongue in it that was awesome it really made me love the story that much more so you could tell either she's um either she's affiliated with the irish culture or she did her research to try to be as authentic as possible which i respect like i said um it was cringe don't don't think you're gonna be like instantly read it and be like oh how cute it kind of it took a bit of a push for me to just keep, to push myself to keep reading it but was did I regret it no I finished it it was a page turner it captivated me um I definitely suggest um other people give it a chance so the Irish Dawn's Black Beauty by Rosemary thank you for watching